if you're starting a business, like this is really your opportunity to do it right and do it sustainably. Hi, my name is Nicole McLaughlin and I'm a designer that's based in New York City. I specialize in upcycling and sustainable materials. My goal wasn't to become a sustainable fashion designer. It was just like, I was using what I had available and it was within my budget. And so I made it work. Um, and then I started to just really love the way that the materials and just the overall feeling of secondhand goods looked. Um, and so I think that's when I started to realize, I was like, oh, this is what upcycling is. Like, this is actually like a sustainable practice. Since I did work at a company, I know the hardships that they face taking a sustainable approach. It's not as easy as people think it is like, oh, just change your business model and just, uh, you know, just stop production. Like, it's just really hard for people that aren't in the industry to really understand those things. Um, but I also think we should be holding those bigger companies accountable for those as well. So I try to stand somewhere in the middle where I can help those brands because I'm like, I get it. I understand your timelines and your capabilities of factories. But at the same time, like we need to start thinking about what's next. So I, that's been more of my mission, I'd say, within my brand to be able to make this more of an achievable goal. Going forward, brands need to be considering all aspects of what they're creating. Um, and it, it can't just be like, oh, put sustainability on it, even though it's only 10% sustainable. Or like, it's, there's still packaging, there's still shipping, there's still so much involved in it. Times are changing and brands really need to be making those changes now. I mean, you have an opportunity to be able to slow down for a minute and think about how much you're producing, is it, is it worth it? Is it really, like, is it gonna actually make a difference in the world? Yeah, I've definitely been just trying to use everything that I have here at home and think even challenging myself in terms of materials that I probably would stray away from because I'm like, oh, that would be too difficult, like using paper or whatever it is. But now I'm kind of like, embracing those things where I'm like, well, that's what I have here. I might as well try and use it. So I think if more people had that mindset, just in general, we'd be better off. You can kind of lay your foundation the correct way, whereas a lot of businesses right now are trying to backtrack and, and change those things. So if you're starting a business, it's not easy to be sustainable and create things ethically, but it's rewarding and it's totally worth it. And I think in the future, you'll thank yourself and the community behind you will thank you for sure. And then if you have a business already and you're considering going sustainable, I mean, you will see the difference within the product, the longevity of the product. I'd say don't create a fully sustainable collection and then ruin it with the packaging by using a ton of plastic or uh, brand new cardboard boxes. There's plenty of sustainable packaging as well that you can consider. <laughs> it doesn't just have to be um, within the production. It could be for the stuff that you've already created, um, coming up with some type of take back program. Um, there's circular models that you can start to incorporate into your companies. So it doesn't have to be like an overnight shift that like you can really start to bring in different aspects of your life that is just living more ethically and more sustainably. So um, I'm, I'm hopeful for the future that people will start to really make these things at the forefront and that it won't just be a dream or a vision board. It will actually be real and come to life. And I'm here to support it. And the DIY community and sustainable community is always open and want to come up with the solutions because you can't do it alone. So feel free to reach out. <laughs> Thank you.